Hi, welcome to the elevated, very light rail mass transportation network. Get from point A to point B anywhere in your city with comfortable and guaranteed seating. No stopping at intersections. Your private pod enters the circular ring track at the intersection where the rotating wheel arms of the ring track guides your pod automatically to the next track segment en route to your destination. But how does the pod know where to go? Once you enter your destination address, the system selects the fastest route for you. Empty pods are automatically sent to serve waiting passengers. But how do I board or dismount from a pod moving at 30 km per hour? Just walk on to the pod at the slowest ring track when your pod is moving at barely 5 km per hour or even slower. The pod moves to successively faster ring tracks and finally joins the high speed track segment moving at 20 km to 30 km per hour or even faster. To help you dismount, your pod moves to successively slower ring tracks and you need to only step off when the pod is moving at 5 km or less. This is great, but how does the pod move? Each pod is pulled by a cable moving at a constant speed between the two dedicated bull wheels for each track segment. The bull wheels are powered by clean grid power. And how many people can the system transport in an hour? A 1 km line supports 125 pods of 2 meters length each, spaced 6 meters apart. At 30 km per hour, 3,750 pods will cross 1 km point on each 1 km stretch, that too in peak traffic hours. If the network is a 100 km network, 375,000 people can be transported 1 km in just 1 hour. That's a lot of people. It would need 3,750 buses carrying 100 passengers each to be able to do that. Thank you.